you serious? Mm. I didn't even know someone was recording. And that's that. when Facebook was... You couldn't upload videos at the time yeah. yet on Facebook. Ah. It was just pictures. Yeah? I could have a sex tape out there. <laughs> you missed the trick. Aish. <laughs> would be so fun. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember this question. Ray J. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Ray J. <laughs> And chill, Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Yes. Says Buile, Robuya. Hey. Podcast Black Yes. So let's go. And now, uh, really, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Welcome to it. It's another episode of Podcast and Chill. You know, I woke up uh, missing my son today. Is it? And Where's I remember your son? He's, he's in Rustenburg. Okay. And then I remember when he was around, I got him to do some jingles for us. He did one. Let me oh. play it for you. Yeah. Uh, this is him. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Did you no, hear that? I can, I can. Yeah. Henda, what do you mean? Oh, that Great. is cute. He's got a twang. Yeah. Anyway, Coslady, good to have you back. It's good to be back. How was it uh, watching uh, the podcast from uh, the other side? The, 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 I, I, was, I was a chiller. I was just back to my humble roots, you yeah. know? And I was here criticizing you guys. Like, ah... You're just here arguing. (laughs) Yeah, that's always the case. Len loves arguing. You know. Give him any... He'll argue with an ant, Len. (laughs) (laughs) Cockroach. He's probably even arguing with his watch right now. Uh, No, no, no. no. I was just checking some. What are you checking? What are you checking? No, I was checking my calendar. Oh, okay. Because with... What What episode are we doing today? What did the calendar do? (laughs) 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 No, it's just giving me a notification. For you to check it, it did something wrong. No, not really. Isn't. But I missed you guys. Ah, we missed you too. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the same without you, man. And I was telling Lane, it was the first show we did without you, ne? Yeah, actually, ever since I, like, joined the team, ne? Yeah. Like, wow. Such commitment. These things happen. Oh, guess what I figured out this weekend? What? I figured how Mapuris and Cubs are... And you really love those two, yeah? I like, dude, those guys are amazing, though. Wow. <laughs> you have posters of them in your house. I should get oh. them, You man. should. Have a shrine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just pray to them every morning. <laughs> mm. I figured out how they're able to drop so much music. How? They don't produce all their tracks. Oh. Yes. So who produces their tracks? Um, and I picked this up from the Ricky Rick interview. Mm-hmm. The only good thing that came out of that interview, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> when he mentioned mass Len music Mlume. <laughs> <laughs> during that interview you mentioned that um, Tandege he did it with mass music right and then Mapori came like later oh. so what I did is because I'm like I've never heard of mass music and then I realized he's got an album so then I listened to mass music's album and I realized the way he arranges his songs is the same so like every song that he does it's literally the same. Like, if you go back to all the songs that mass music has produced. Oh, okay. Like, like the Mikasa song, the, the, the Zaga, 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 Coco, Uvalo. You know the song that I like? Oh, yes, Uvalo. Yes. Okay, yeah. um, Tandege, the one with Ricky Rick. Oh. What he does is, the first 30 seconds of the song is the beat, ne? Mm-hmm. And then the first thing that comes is the chord. So he plays a chord. And then after the chord, it's the vocal. And then after the vocal, it's the gong, 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 gong. You know, the piano, gong, gong, gong. And then every song of his has a break. 30 seconds break, all of them. 30 seconds. And in that break, it's the chord, the vocal, if it's a guy or a girl. And then after 30 seconds, the beat comes back and he's out. Wow. And then the crazy thing is most of the hits are mass music hits. And then Kabza produces the ratchet songs, like Sentin, oh. the ones that are hard. Oh. Like Vula Vala. Oh. Lodge, lodge, lodge. That's Gabza. Okay. Yeah. So mass music is fucking brilliant. So school started for you this past week as well. Why? No, because you clearly learned something. Yeah. So I'm saying school. I guess school was open just the other day. 
Mm. Well, Varsity, that is. Oh, Varsity now. Yes. Varsity. Oh. But it's crazy. Oh, I think he even did the new single. The one that one is, everyone's going crazy about. Okay. M. Klimbin. M. Klimbin. I think it's him. Because he arranges the song the same. I don't know if you guys, like, in producer terms. Okay. If someone's a producer, they'll understand what I'm saying. Mm. Like, all these songs, the arrangement is the it's same. It's the same. Yes. Like, every 30 seconds. He's got a template. From your a template. Explain- oh, okay. Yeah, so I studied his template. Okay, so that means... So you you're c- coming out with a song next week. Ah, so who knows? <laughs> Mac music. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing is the songs that people like are mostly produced by him. Nice. So do you think we're going to have like a TNA's Prince KB thing? Ah. Uh, Where like they're so not giving him his juice, they're not paying him correctly. Because the songs are huge. And then in five years he might come out and say, hey. Uh, if he oh. hasn't said anything by now, that, that train is gone. I can't even say now. Ah, you won't talk now. Because if it's, it's they, you know? yeah, everything is they popping right you now. Know? Okay. He should be talking now while right they popping. Now, no, but he's, uh. he, he looks. I think he's young. Yeah. I think he's young. Okay. So he's probably just excited that people are liking his so music. So you're saying he could grow up? No, but there's also realizing. I get it. Uh, with the Prince KB interview, what I learned was that uh, there is beat makers. There's there's agreements mm. that you have if you make a beat, like yo, do you want to go through the struggle with me in terms of when the royalties come and what, 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 what? Or do you want, make the beat, I pay you, you're out. Yeah. So we don't know what choice he made. No, he signed under Maporis' label. So I'm saying he's young, right? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know how the music industry works. So Pori saw something in him, might be using him, because everybody gets screwed. Marwaspan. Yeah, so if maybe you come right up with now an idea the, at, at exactly. your office, so right it's, it's intellectual property that belongs to the office because yeah. the office pays you. Exactly. But this is where the problem comes when later. When later. The okay. TNS, hence I say TNS, because TNS produced Bano Moya, yeah? mm. Club Controller. People must, must learn to read contracts, yeah. don't just sign. So that's what I'm saying. Is it one of those instances where he hasn't read the contract and he doesn't know? We, we'll or never know. Is, Perry, is Pori paying him his Accordingly. Juice? Yeah, yeah. Kind of getting a retainer. Hey. He's probably getting a retainer. He's probably getting a retainer. Yeah. That means he's not getting royalties then. The royalties are Cubs and Pori. Uh, yes. Or he's called an intern. <laughs> and just, you know, <laughs> and he's probably the guy who just gets... There's, 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 look, there's, there's, in, at some point, like, if you work, there is certain things that you do at your employment that bring in millions. You're not going to get those millions. Mm. You're just going to get your salary. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that with music. With music, if I do a song, the royalties should be mine. It's my song. And p- some people don't know that. It's and and what right. happens is these big labels or these big producers take advantage of these kids because these kids just want their music out there. But remember how these kids come. It's like, can I just be around you so I can learn? Yes. So remember, if that, that's how it starts. But so there's a difference between learning and getting screwed. Well, because even Pori has been screwed as well. Yeah, part of learning is getting screwed. Yeah, mm. you know. Yeah. So it's when you are thinking, oh, okay, I'm Think just of learning. High <laughs> by who? Who's no, no, screw just just like whatever. What were you screwing the teacher? No, <laughs> man, not like that. Oh, OBE. I'm just saying, <laughs> I didn't do OBE by the way. Oh. Yes. So it's 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 part of even with everyday work, whatever, like. I mean, if, we, if we're going to talk about people getting screwed, the taxi drivers get screwed, bro. No, they do the screwing. No, they get screwed. How? So if I drive a taxi, if I'm the physical driver... You're yeah, not the owner. I'm not the owner. Yes. And the there's a certain expect- demand of money that is yes, expected that by the owner. On a daily. Which is, can be very yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, but what they do is that if my target is 500 bucks and that day I make 700, they only check 500. No, true. And but then they keep the 200. The, 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 but then to, you get, must, to get you that 700 is crazy. That's, that's part of expenses. No. no. It is. You produce the receipt. No. no. The petrol doesn't come from the taxi it driver. Does. Aye. Aye. No. <laughs> so, no. in, so in, in, in you driving the taxi. Why that do you day? think when you go to the petrol stations, how if there's like if you go to a petrol station that's a lot got a lot of taxis. A lot of these taxis after they pour the petrol, they get shaken. Why? 
<laughs> Have you ever been inside a taxi and it's, they put petrol and you're inside they think shit? Because they want the petrol to last longer so they Thank can you. have more mileage and make more oh, money. No. Why? Why do you think they do that? Why do you so think? they can make more money? No. no. It's because of that petrol. If you've it's got a target of 2,000, because I read a very, I, yes. I read a very, very detailed... Hey, hey, we have, we have priests as chillers. If you're a taxi driver <laughs> and you're a chiller, let us know how this works. <laughs> I read an article. So yeah. I, I've got this on good, on good authority. Uh, an article where my father owns, te- owns taxis. Ah, I, yeah, well, <laughs> they, they pay for the taxis. <laughs> okay, but I know someone. I mean, the, the petrol. No, okay. Yes, yes. I, I know the arrangement. For, where do they get the money to pay the petrol no. from? When you are collecting people, will cheat. Yes. That's the money you check. No. No. So you pay for the petrol, the money that you check, say, say you have to check a thousand. Yes. yes. Drive as much as you want, take people to wherever they need to go. Ne? Make sure that taxi moves, you must still check the thousand at the end of the day. Listen, guys, let me, let me tell you something. Ne? The reason why some owners had to stop their thing with um, taxi drivers saying, okay, produce tech, um, receipts. You can go to a freaking any garage and just oh. ask for receipts and then claim, I put 1.5. Uh, I filled up the tank twice today. That's when you didn't. The people do who Uber drivers pay their own petrol? Okay, we don't know. Well, I, don't I don't know, know about, about Uber. I know driver. about taxis because I'm saying taxis, this. Yes. Uh, hence, I'm saying Jorge, there was an article I read on uh, an online platform whereby they spoke to a taxi driver on some like uh he gets what two fifty a week or something like that? That's crazy. No no yeah. two fifty a day, sorry. Two fifty a day. So it depends the routes that you take. The owner just says, Okay, listen, all I want from you is one point five. So you guys would be good taxi drivers. Of course. I get you pay for him petrol to come to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <For sake. laughs> for <who>? Taxi driver <laughs> in the making. Okay, <laughs> owner. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, so where were you guys w- w- when the flooding was happening? I was at home. I actually got, well, I was at home, but then I was uh, the idiot that decided I needed to go buy cigarettes at like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then as I drove out of my house, I saw, eh, who's over Litla? And then the garage, not far from my house, uh, I think they had load shading and then they were off. So I had to go further down the road to the spa. And I could see that, yo, kuzo balit. But I was like, ah, but I need cigarettes. And I went. I have never shit myself so much. Because mm. I literally thought my car was going to get swept away. Wow. And you, ghost lady? Staying in Centurion. But luckily, I stay in Centurion on the side where... It doesn't get flooded. Mm. So I'm in the safe zone of Centurion. And I was really feeling bad for the people who are not so... The poor people. Yeah, the poor <laughs> people of Centurion. <laughs> there are poor people in Centurion? <laughs> <laughs> no, the ones who get flooded. Oh, those yeah. ones. Yeah, a friend of mine stays Aba in, 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 in Gen- 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 Yeah, Now we're going to need translations for that. They are breathing, you are through, breathing the through the wound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the assurances of this world. Mm. <laughs> Tabang had a crazy story. He said by his hood, houses were being flooded. What would you say, Tabang? What were you saying before we started recording? Tell us, Tabang. He yeah. was... Did you swim? Can you swim? <laughs> Chief, I can't swim, Chief. Yeah, like, yo, it was so crazy, dude. Like, even my friend, like, his wall, his, his wall fell. Complexes, walls fell. Streets were damaged. Dude, it was crazy, man. That's insane. Shame, ah, Tabang. It's, it's, it's a, look, it's a bad thing, but it's become a regular. Uh, and part and parcel of what causes this is drainage systems are not actually proper. Uh, there's litter as well that blocks the, the drains, so the water is not actually able to flow properly. Mm. So it has become a thing. I mean, the other day, there were people stuck there in Centurion there at that hotel. I forgot yeah, the name. Yeah, that hotel is in Jordan. Yeah, no, it can get bad. But I think the Because what happened is, Nick, just to cut mm-hmm. you, uh, the only time I saw, oh shit, this is happening, was Sunday night. I went to Bobster's birthday at Centurion Chisanyam. Oh, shame. So and I, I know Centurion Chisanyam is next to the, the to river. That, to oh, it, no, yes. it gets flooded. So, so, so now. So now the I. Henops. Henops, yes. So now I'm going into the parking lot. Uh-huh. I'm about to park. Mm. And I see a lot of people running. I'm thinking there's a fight or something. No, all this time, while people were in groove, their cars were being flooded. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I get you know. it happens. Yeah. It's like the lady at the hotel that I'm speaking about, the one in Centurion, when uh, the floods were happening, 
people were screaming, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then they looked out the window. They're like, oh my gosh. Like, look at, because the, the car was being swept away. Yeah. Little did they know that that was actually their car that was being swept wow, away. Wow. And amazing. they saw it from like the 10th or the 14th floor of the hotel. When last yeah. were you at a party? It depends what kind of party. Like club. Ah, yo, the last time I was at Recharge with you. And uh, when last did you hear hip hop set at a club? Uh, yo, I think all I, the, the one song I know is consistent is all I do is win, 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 no, no matter, matter what. Okay, I'm getting there. Ghost Lady, you when was the last we heard about it? Uh, um, I was at Montana mm-hmm. last time. And okay. there was a lot of hip hop there. So okay, because I've been getting booked lately <laughs> for hip hop. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying I've been getting a lot of bookings lately. So I've been going to a lot of parties. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, the hip hop sets are the same. Oh, I yeah. kid you not. They are the like, same. Like it doesn't matter who's playing. I know what song is gonna play. It's always Beyonce Seven Eleven. It's always um, Rihanna somewhere there. There's always say ah 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 ah. ah, ah, ah. There's always Open niggas wide. in Paris. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fall so hard, motherfucker, wanna fight oh, me? Uh, mm. That shit crazy. Mm-hmm. That that always brick and lace. Your love is oh, wicked. Oh, the love is that wicked. is always wicked. there. Drop drop that. What you working with? Drop. Don't stop. Drop that pussy. What you working with? Okay. You know that one. Don't no. stop, don't stop. Oh, yes. What you oh, working yes, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I promise you, if don't you got stop, this weekend, man. Don't, don't stop. Yeah, you're going to hear those songs. Every hip hop DJ is like that. And that time I'm like, there's so much music out there. They work with a template. Dude, they mess music. <laughs> <laughs> they work with a template. Hip hop started this first. Like, I've never heard an Aerie song in the club. Never. Uh, I've never heard. Casper okay. dropped a, a new banger. That uh, what's that song called you Tabang? Yeah, good for that. Yeah, I haven't heard that, you know. But when Pori releases a song at 5 p.m. Oh, at 10, it's <laughs> you, out. <laughs> you'll hear it in the club. Screw <laughs> <laughs> But which is why? Uh, do you think DJs are becoming are they, are they a dying species? Ooh, that's a good question. Hip hop DJs. Well, those ones, well, they're clearly shooting themselves in the foot. But I'm just talking about DJing in general. Hmm, that's a very good question. It's like a dying art. Why? Because people still go out. Well, do you still go out because of a particular DJ or you go out because of music? Whether there's DJ McG playing it or there's somebody who compiled a playlist that they hoi on a stick and then they plays. What I can tell you is the technique has no factor right now. Because when I started DJing, it was all about how you could mix. Mm. Mm. You understand? But right now, I'll hear DJs playing horses in the club and no one gives a fuck. <laughs> as long as they like the song, okay. <laughs> yeah. it's a vibe. Okay. I'm like, yo, hey, this guy's struggling with the horses there. So essentially what you're saying is there's no art to DJing anymore. Or yeah. there is art, but it's not as prevalent okay, as it I'll was say, back I'll in say, the days. I'll uh, say mainstream places. So the places where like, your rockets and your kongs and, you know, the, the places that are mainstream, mm. where they book DJs because of their following. The following. Mm. There, the art of DJing is dead. Mm. But you find places like House 22, where it still remains where you got to oh, DJ. Oh, no, don't fuck around with Pretoria. You know and what I'm saying? Mm. So the art, uh, like, even in the deep hood. House. Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck yeah. around with Pretoria and Deep House. Yeah. Even yeah. in the hood. Because where it's like, you know, for slow. If uh, you can't mix, they will call you out. Yeah. yeah. Fast. Next. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't mix. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. But, but these, the North Clubs, I don't give a fuck, man. It's about your following. Yeah. 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 No, I guess obviously we go there because of, ah, oh, someone is playing and normally it's like, oh, and they play a good hip hop. You know that the songs, and you already know what songs they're going to be playing. Mm. Which, yes, it can be frustrating because you're like, oh, I know the set. And there's so much music out there. Yeah. Hip hop was, eh, there's a lot. Dude, tomorrow, let's say I, I want to start. DJ, I can decide, you know what, I'm going to specialize in old school hip hop. And there is so much of it. There's so much if of it. I'm yeah. going to start. It's like these hip hop DJs are stuck in 2008 because they were playing those sets oh, back no, then. Yeah. And they're still playing them. It's like, but maybe yo. they can't resonate with what's happening now. So maybe Boma 2000 must like step up the game and change. No, no I don't but understand. Your, your I job a as question? a DJ is to play new music. But you see, Mac. First I, and foremost. Yes, I get you, ne? but. Uh, on the flip side, ne? if I'm going to get paid 
10 grand to play for an hour at Rockets. I play at Rockets for an hour. Why do I need to now? It, it makes life easy for me to take the same set and go play it at Muse Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think genuinely... If you nah, had to but club most, hop, DJ, most DJs do that. Even Black Coffee does that. Yeah, does if you had to club hop, <laughs> if you had to club hop on a weekend, ne, chances are you'll hear the same music everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Why would the DJ act like as if they are working over time <laughs> when you're ready? Because it's like this stage, can't you, don't you just record it? Just stand there then. Just press play and let it... Mm, why are you going to act coming. like... Hey, what are you saying? No, no. I'm just saying that's the same thing of like your set is the same all the time. Oh. Why now as a DJ you're going to act like as if you're spinning and mixing when it's like you should just press play because don't there's you just no record this thing? There's not really D anymore. <laughs> but no, they act like as if they are working. Like hey, you are mixing. <laughs> you are there. Because <laughs> re- the last time, I think, okay, well, this was last year, ne? I was at um, Altitude yeah. and Naked was playing. Ne? Mm. He said, ne? I was like, oh, lovely. Hip hop said, nice, sweet. The next day or one of these days during the week when I heard him on radio and he's like, okay, Naked is going to play. It was the exact same thing I heard that previous Saturday mm. when he was at Altitude. Yeah, me. And I was like, nah, nigga. If mm. I'm a DJ, ne? oh, tomorrow I decide, yo, DJ Len on the ones and twos, right? What am I going to do? I'm going to go record a mix your pH and then just take out that whole uh, <laughs> pH thing. Can I get sting? The sting, your yeah, pH. Be like, clips, go to a club, fuck shit up, go to the next one. I get my 50 grand weekend, Kim not. But there's some DJs that do that. They play pre mixes. Yes. Yeah, but I, then I why, that's my thing. That's why why you do you act like as if you are busy when you. You should just play aesthetics play and sit down. It's aesthetics. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no. He would know it's these people. <laughs> you know what would be dope? There's uh, these parties called uh, pff, silent discos. So you go in there and everybody wears headphones. Headphones, right? I've seen that. And then there's four DJs that are mixing at the same time mm. and you choose which DJ you want to mix. Uh, I mean, listen to via yeah, the headphones. Yeah. So when you're DJing shit, all the lights are red. <laughs> 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 so let's say like my light is blue uh. and you are red. So uh. if you're playing better than I am, then all the lights in the headphones are red because <laughs> the, the headphones show you which DJ you're yeah, listening to. Yeah, who you're listening to. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's we a, need that's that. A, that's, a, that's a dope concept. <laughs> yeah. That's a dope concept. <laughs> so we have PH. <laughs> And Len. <laughs> We're playing the same songs. <laughs> people are confused. <laughs> like, who's who? The lights will be flashing red, blue, red, blue, red. Because people will be like, can't you, who's, who's who? Yeah, because I once, I once played at a party like that and I was playing and my light was blue. Was the, guy was, the guy was red. And he was killing me. <laughs> they were the commercial songs. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so that, dope. That's and, and, and that's like revolutionizing like the, 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 the whole concept. I would go to a party like that. I, I would don't go definitely lot, go there. But I would go to a party like so that. So you mean this does exist? Yeah, they're called silent discos. And then you always only invite us to recharge. That's <laughs> 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 If she sends us a message at like uh, I'm at recharge, 10 to guys. guys, I'm playing it recharge. Yeah. Eh? He even oh. came to my house. Mm. What? To try and push a you recruit. to come? I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that's when the floods were starting. Oh, <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah, it was the, 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 the preliminary, yeah, floods were building up. On mm. Friday evening, I think he rocked up at about nine-ish. How was it though at recharge? Ah, it was amazing. You enjoyed it. Oh, what time did you play? 12 to 1. 12 to 1. Oh, okay. Mm. So I made a like couple of chillers as there as well. Hmm? You said you were playing at 11. Oh, ah, you just wanted to leave. No, no, no. 11 was the other time. I thought it was still 11. No, I went what, what, what do you mean other time? The other week where I played. I could have oh. got a residency now. Oh, you've got a red hair tata. <laughs> so we're catching your recharge. Yeah, oh, I'm okay. recharged. <laughs> You're recharged now. <laughs> Did you pay for your rider again? No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I, I literally had 5% interest of going with him. <laughs> Because of the rider. Because of the rider. But I was like, fuck that. It's not even worth it. it. I'm staying home. (laughs) I had a crazy dream this morning, man. I still can't explain it. Are you good with dreams? Am I good with dreams? Like, can you interpret what was going on? What it means? Okay, just talk to me. So, I was in Venda. And then we parked by our house. All right? But then I walked around the farm. I got to go to the farm. Mm. So, I walked for about 30 minutes. That's how big the farm is. Got a big farm in Venda. Oh, (laughs) and a popcorn (laughs) machine. (laughs) So I walked around for like 30 minutes and I was sleeping at like some lodge away from the farm. Mm-hmm. 
And then my car, my mom called me and she said, the car's burning. And in the car was my laptop mm. and some of my aunt's bags. And the car was literally burning. And that's it. And that's it. I, th- I thought it was weird. It felt real, though. Is it? Yeah. But, w- okay, so y- the laptops was the thing that you felt, oh, my God, I can't lose my laptop because it had all or these. Or the car or the bag. I don't know, what, I what were you more fearful of losing? Ah, the car is like, ah, it's an old car. And the, okay. But I think it symbolizes, like, the podcast is coming to flames or something. How? No, it is <laughs> hot. <laughs> So much for us asking us to read. Uh, to mean, read. Like You've read it already. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it was weird. It was okay. Weird, 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 weird. We're blowing up, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. What do you think it means? I, I don't know. Eh? Um, I don't know. Uh, if I had to interpret it. Have you ever dreamt of something burning in your life? No, yeah, no, no. maybe something burning m- symbolizes something. Yeah, really yeah, that's... It's probably like uh, new beginnings, like mm. reading of something so that something else can... Cause you maybe know, the car was burning because maybe you're getting another a, a new, new car, car, you know? Because you know, you know, like with... Uh, uh, just if, we, if I had to superimpose that which you just said now, when you, like with a felt or whatever, if they need to make the soil especially towards when spring <coughs> is coming. I know with grass, for instance. With grass, yeah. you burn it. You burn the grass yes. in order to get new green grass. Yes. Uh-huh. So, so maybe, burning it doesn't yeah. mean anything bad. You know, it could, ne- it could be a, a, a sign of... Are oh, you getting a hot car? Hmm. But I just think burning always symbolizes like making way for something... Something new to come. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And the okay. laptop also, it was burning. Maybe we're going to get a new one. Yeah. I don't know. Hey. It could be. All the equipment was in the car. So was all the equipment in the car? Everything was in the car. Oh. And that's the first thing I'm like, shit, the laptop's in the car. That's why I asked you now. Like, okay, what was of a value in the car Maybe that you gonna thought? Maybe we're going to get new Ooh. equipment. Eh? We're going to get new equipment. Like hmm. HD, super... AMOLED, 4D, 4D, 4K mm. type vibes. Mira. You never know. But oh, yeah. I always say with dreams, right? Because mm. I know there's people who interpret death as there's new life that's coming. Because for the longest time, I... Hey, we've got a runner on the podcast. There's our runner. <laughs> <laughs> for the longest time... <laughs> for, <laughs> for the longest time, I had dreams about... And it happened in the same spot. I... Would dream? Where are these wet dreams? No, 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 no. <laughs> Same spot. <laughs> Shane, let's not go there. The wet spot. I would get an accident by Baclou interchange. Okay. My car would overturn. Every time I have a dream that involves a car accident, it happens at Baclou interchange. Mm. Hmm. So you had a dream of you having a car accident at Baclou interchange. Yes. And it happened. No. Oh. So this. It, so it's, how it's many times do you have this dream? I think it happened about four or five wow. times. That's crazy. Okay. And you have you had crazy dreams where you can't really like. Yeah, I guess so. You always have those, and I never remember them. The crazier they are, but I think there are some dreams that are more like answers. You understand? So. So he like, said, "I must burn my gun." <laughs> no, no. Like sometimes you're thinking of something and you want something new. Mm. But also, oh, there's a, there's a request you have to the universe, mm. and then you dream. It's almost like it's an answer, mm. like oh, okay. When you talk to someone, and then they're able to say, actually, you know what? I dreamt of something. Like for instance, I recently dream dreamt of, it was like, there was money. Mm with something I was doing on the side. And I th- automatically started thinking, <coughs> the podcast. <coughs> so Where's for me, money? it was like, <laughs> the podcast. The was something I'm still waiting. It was like, the but this money is not from my, my, my job, my full-time job. It's something from my do on the side. Mm. So that's when I connected and I was like, this must be the podcast. Something is going to be happening for the podcast. Ah, yeah, invoice it, I'll tell you. You have one. But so also, the other thing, the other, the other crazy but thing... But you still pay your own petrol like it. Oh, yeah, but own Go by the arrangement. When you find a Malin. So you say it's fine. The other crazy thing about dreams is, ne, what I've noticed as well is that what, whatever you consume, be it you're reading a book, you're watching a movie, whatever, whatever, 
some of the things that you see there or things that happen during the day or conversations that you have with people sort of like stay in your subconscious mind or mm. somewhere in your mm. mind and when you dream they somehow get incorporated into, into your dream true mm. yes Shit, that's crazy. And I've also learned that sometimes a dream, uh, not every dream that you have has got something to do with you. Yeah. Mm. Some dreams are actually about someone else. Just your mm. mind bored or yeah. something like that. Uh, you've been and then it's like, actually, it's, it's, it's something, it's, it's involves someone else. It has nothing to do with you. I wanted to ask you something, Ghostly, because I was having an argument with my boys. Mm-hmm. Is it better to tell a girl uh, when you meet her? When you meet her? Yeah. Okay. Straight from the jump. Yeah. That I just want to bang. Mm-hmm. I want to smash. want to smash. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. Or lead her, bang, and then be like, yeah, no, I just wanted to bang. <laughs> I just wanted to vibe. I believe that you need to live in your truth. Okay. And therefore, it would always be better to talk. So that whatever, when shit hits the fan, you're able to say, listen, I told you the truth. Yes, if you are, but also... As I think as a man, you need to, when you're t- telling that person the truth, know that they hear you. It's not because it's your responsibility again, as much as if you're telling me that all you want is just to smash. And in my head, I'm thinking, no, yes, let me allow you to smash, but me and you can be, uh, will be forever, you know, and married, have kids, and so forth. As you, again, as the guy, you need to be like, well, what do I you don't prefer? Think she's okay. hearing. When what do you prefer? I've been told the truth. From the jump. From the jump, yeah. So we're at recharge. I must yeah. come to you and say, Hey, listen, I just want to smash you. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. No finesse, nyana. Like let's get to know each other or like yo. I think we live in a world now, I think people are, are, are ready to hear that. It's straight up. It's like, yeah, we are smashing. That it's okay. Hey, it's a nice time to be alive yeah. now. Hey, I want to smash. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 I've got friends who are like in relationships where it's just all about it. We smash. Yes, we could hang out and have lunch together like we're a couple. Hey, you've got friends but like at that? the end of the day, uh, I'm not introducing them to oh, you. I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. And they're very open about it. And it's, they're very happy. At this rate, we won't have a speed dating party on the 15th of Feb. Because people are going to smash. <laughs> <laughs> This is not about relationships. <laughs> it's not finding love. Find a smash. <laughs> Maybe we can have a smash party. Yeah. Uh, white ticking. Yeah, eh? Smash party. No. no, but you know what I think? In uh, resonating with what the ghost lady said, uh, don't, 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 dis- don't lie to me and hurt me. Mm. Rather, lead me. Rather allow myself to walk into the hurt. Uh, that way, it won't be a case of me knowing that Okay, cool. But this person said, sold me Have dreams. you ever told a lady that you wanted to smash? I want to smash. No. Why? It's so you lied. <laughs> so, so you, you lied. lied. I, I finessed. <laughs> <laughs> you I lied. Finessed. <laughs> I finessed. <laughs> okay, let's ask a screw screw. Hold Maybe on. it's different for, for, for this generation. Hey, Tabang. How about you? I feel Guys, you forgot I'm single here, guys. So this okay, when you were not single. Like, if you go, if you go to uh, a club this weekend, mm-hmm. right? Forget about being single. single just... Yeah, hypothetically. Mm. Now. Do you go to a girl, do you, these young girls, do you go, I want to smash or not? I finesse. You finesse. I finesse. So you don't go, you don't tell the truth. No, you tell the truth, but you still finesse. Mm. So let's say you meet a girl, you just want to bang yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to go up to her and say, listen, I just want to bang? No, you can't say that, dog. That's what I'm saying. No. So, like, straight okay, up to your face. Ghost lady. Ghost lady. Why can't you say okay, that? Okay, I'm just going to add on something, ne? <clears throat> um... There are two types of lies. Hey, smash me a drink then. <laughs> there are two types of lies. There's lying by commission and there's lying by omission. Hey, oh, yes. hey, 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 we need drop oh. for that. Oh. Where's my son? Oh. <laughs> 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 I agree with you, Len. I love Whoa. that. Whoa. Please repeat, repeat that again. Repeat. No, there's lying by omission yes. and there's lying by commission. Ladies, hey. did you hear that? Well, break it down. Break it down to us. So when you lie by commission, mm-hmm. you intentionally telling a straight lie, like, no, 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 I just want us to be friends. Knowing damn well that you want to smash. Uh-huh. Right? When you lie by omission, you're leaving certain things out. And I think lying by omission is more trying to finesse. Mm. None of them is better because it's still lying at it's the end lying of the day. It's lying at the end of the day. But one is a bit, it's slightly less... It's tabang. It's finessing. Mm. It's has a guy ever said to you, oh, "I want to smash"? Hmm. 
in my time. Your husband, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at him now. Because <laughs> my trap game is, 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 is too hot. Would you go to a girl and say, from the onset, that I want to marry you? No. Of course you can. I agree you're going you're gonna to build it up. Mm-hmm. It's the same with smashing. You build it up. You're not going to just like from the onset. And also, it's, it's also a level of... It's almost like, yeah, it's, it's rude. It's also a level of disrespect. It's yeah. rude. Th- my thing is, that's why I ask Ghost Lady first, right? Because ladies want you to become there, right? And be honest and say, listen, hey, I just want to smash so you don't waste their time, mm. right? But when we do that, the little chances that we do, they'll be like, hey, you're so what rude. The, what the hell? What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, because obviously it's... It depends on the time, the place, and... Oh, the time, the time. So be, d- between peak time. <laughs> There's <laughs> enough peak. On <laughs> traffic. <laughs> like, no, too many of you have been wanting to smash. No, 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 no. No, but I'm just saying, it's, it's, let's say you're at the club. There's just too much grinding. You guys are dancing to get... Len. You guys are dancing together. It's like the, the, the energy is there, you know? She's... And then when the, by the time you talk, like, okay, can we go to the car quickly, whatever, whatever. I think that if Does she it agrees, it's already, it's, 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 it, there's, no, there's logic to it. Or, yeah. I think, I think back in my days, if I followed what you are saying, I wouldn't have smashed as much. If Jeez. I was brutally honest How and much said... How is much? <laughs> <laughs> so basically you're saying it back in your, in your days you were lying. Yeah, you have in to. Order no, to he fina- no, no, he didn't lie. He finessed. It, you oh, have you to. Finessed. You got to finesse. If you want to smash, you have to, unfortunately. Okay, take me t- uh, t- through the process of finessing. So finessing, it's like, you know, we meet and mm-hmm. then we start vibing. Let me hear the lies. We, we have mean? coffee. Ah, coffee. Let's watch, let's watch, mu- let's watch, let's, let's watch Netflix. You take it to the movies. Nah, Is that part of finessing nah, even? Nah, 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 nah. We just have a conversation, you know? Build things up. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 Is this when you guys are sober or... No, it's like, yo... Do you, you're going out. You, you're chatting. You're, you're chatting. chatting. So I meet you at Richard. Like mix you're chatting. It. Yeah. Mix the chats. We chat, we chat, what we vibe, we vibe. PM. And then, you know, one thing leads to another and then boom, bang. But I never came to you and said, hey, I want to smash. I've never done that either. You understand? But at the end of the night, we end up smashing. But you say in your lies, she maybe even thought that you guys were building a relationship. Ah. That's the problem in your finessing. You are building a relationship. You're finding out, oh, so what do you like? Oh, you like coffee. Oh, okay. Oh, you like ice cream. Oh, since you said you like that song, let me give you, you know, Mm. I'll play that song. My hard drive. My hard drive, you know. (laughs) Mm. know, I mean, if, if a hip hop DJ is on, you can just go and say, hey, this DJs, they play the same shit, you know? And then it starts... There's a conversation, <laughs> yeah. You but know? then how do you approach... Because I, I don't think... One thing that I, I know I lack like is approach. When there's a lady, I, 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 like, I go up to her and, like... The song is nice, man. But and that's the thing. You need to know yourself. Sometimes we want to play Start in smoking. Field. That, that always helps. No, not even. Play in a field that you know you're good at. Stick in your lane. Yeah, stay in your lane. So if you know that in the club, your vibe, you probably come through as those guys that are, are like, they're like, this looks so boring. Look at you, you're just trying too much. Whereas there's some guys that make it sound easy. You see, like, McGina already is on the decks. He just has to look at you, you and know. You just and just, <laughs> and you're thinking, me and you. I'm more likely to hit it off with me. your friend at a bri- at your house. Exactly, you see. So that's where you can do your... Let's go. Let's smash. <laughs> yeah. It's not that easy, guys. It's, it's, I mean. Not in those exact words, but it's like this. And when you are Sounds like here's truth. a calendar for smashing. Yeah. <laughs> Scuffing <laughs> season. <laughs> Hunting season. When I'm on heat. It's a good thing I don't work in Santon. Because <laughs> it would be your season right now. From Aria Santin. Did you guys see that video? I'm sure you saw of it. Of course. We, we all did. Yeah. Oh. We all did. But the, 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 remember we had an episode on, on, on the podcast whereby we were talking about how much of a cesspool of idiots you have on social media. Mm-hmm. So somebody decided to go and identify the people on the video. And those were the wrong people. Mm. Oh, shame. 
And it went viral. It did. Also, it's... What people don't get is... Ne, uh, Ah, it's all in the name of fun. Ah, you're hiding behind the QWERTY. Just explain for our international subscribers who may not have watched that sentence video. Okay, there were two about? people who were having quarters in the office after hours. After hours, yeah. And Do you so think he went up and said, <laughs> I want to smash? <laughs> he probably did. You're more <laughs> likely to sleep with a colleague than you would somebody that you meet up with at a club. Have you you would ever, know. Have you ever <laughs> smashed someone in the office? Not He's in dating the office. someone from the office. Huh? Not in the office. Okay, but did you smash in the office? No. You've I've never, never had smashed. sex at work. You've never had sex at no. work? Oh, oh, I have. Where? Duh. Where? Mm-hmm. In Hyde Park. So. Tell me, are you a I was at Rosebank. Hyde Park. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Hey, how many times? times? They were having... <laughs> how many times? <laughs> I, I said collab. <laughs> Have you? Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of all the places that I've worked at, I've never had sex at work. Oh, Not even nice. in the parking lot. Hey, it's nice, man. I won't lie. Wow. It's, it's different. I haven't lived. I need to... Okay, well, I can't take that box gone. Mm. But anyway, uh, colleagues were having sex, or we assume it's colleagues. Mm-hmm. It could have been a guy with his wife who decided to visit him when he was working late. Yeah. We don't know that. Yeah. It was just two people who were having quite And Valentine's are around the corner. You know? You know? It's cuffing season. <laughs> yes. So, cool people decided to take a video. <laughs> they were role-playing. <laughs> mm. Bus. Mm. <laughs> video went viral. And people decided that they're going to do the Twitter FBI CIA investigation thing. And they identified the wrong people. Mm. Now those people are suing. You lie. I kid you not. Okay, who are they suing? So if you decided to retweet, like, you. anything, you. you are culpable of being sued. You oh. lie. Share. So unfortunately, if you go slender me on social media, ne? Let's say you've got a pseudo account and it's very difficult to find you. To find you. Tabang or Ghost Lady decide, uh, I'm going to retweet. They shared. I can sue them. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's that thing they taught us in Prime Media, man. Yes. What's Remember thing? those... Um, What's that thing it's called? It's got a word, man. <sighs> yes, that thing. That mm. Social media, what, what, yes. in, yes. You can sue somebody. Oh, it's gonna, you it's can gonna drag somebody... Moment. Mm. For defamation of character. It's, yes, it's defamation. Mm. You can drag somebody. I wish, I wish I could call Ravi and ask him, hey, what? Show me Ari is in So, uh, mm. it's, 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 mm. people think it's easy to hide behind to become a quirky warrior. Mm. But sometimes you will get found out. Mm. Mm. And sometimes people think, well, ah, no, a retweet are not an endorsement. The minute you retweet, yeah, you it's an sharing. endorsement. You're yeah. sharing. You're sharing. Mm. Oh, what is that thing? It's going to bug me now, man. I remember this. It sounds like a girl's name. Yeah, I'm carry on. Anyway. Jenny's. <sighs> I don't remember, but I just know we did it. I'll, next episode, I'll tell you guys. Okay. We did it with a guy from... Because uh, I also went through one of those. And you're still at Prime Media, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. And unfortunately, with the instance of the two parties that were falsely identified, there were media houses that also wrote articles on that. Mm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So now that goes, I get falsely identified. It starts problems at home. Yeah. I, I'm, I get bullied on social media mm. and, 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 and. Next thing I know, as people, we don't take things the same. Next thing you know, I go and I off myself because I can't take it anymore. Exactly, mm. yeah. Yeah, that's true. So... Uh, but we always say social media is the gift and the curse. Yeah. It's a gift and a curse, man. It's a gift. It's but again, with and, great and most people don't know this thing that that we learned, mm. like how much shit you can get just by retweeting. Mm. With great power comes great responsibility, responsibility, and a lot of people are not responsible, yeah. especially when it comes to social media. Mm. They especially think, Twitter, ah, no, cloud. Ah, let me gain cloud. Mm. It can get you literally. In the words of Ko, ne? Uh, no, 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 no. Over some characters. Yes. Oh. Mm. Over a few characters, you can lose it all because mm. yeah. you decided to be an idiot. Mm. Mm. And again, what's wrong with people fucking at the office? Yeah. No, but what's wrong with it? Nothing. Yeah, if the if the company wants to deal with them and they don't have a 
it's fine. That's the company. I think at the end of the day, we could let the camera, office cameras, and let the cam the company deal with it. Ah, but I agree, you know, you're not going to smash where there are cameras. Of course, of hey, course. So I'm just go saying to the kitchen. that's... Rule 101. Mm. Yeah. Rule 101. No cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why some people do it under underground parking in the yeah. cars. So gatle, gatle, all these people who were recording them, you guys were actually sharing pornography. Yes, and yeah. like, it's like, like you're busy distributing your recording. So so what I'm getting or what I what I picked up from How all of this, ne, them? it's if you if we live in a residential complex and mm. I just happen to be on heat the one day and I just like baby, see <laughs> And the curtains were open. Like, I guess everyone has a story to tell. Like, you've had, like, sex in a public space. And let's say there was someone watching and recording you guys. How would you feel? Exactly. Oh, I, I, I once had a case behind Black Oak shit. Do you remember the club Black, Black Oak shit? And I know how it went away. And then someone was recording, and they were going to publish it in the papers. Ah. But I knew people who know people. Who know people, so they squashed it. Are you serious? Mm. I didn't even know someone was recording. And that's right? when Facebook was... You couldn't upload videos at the time yes. yeah, on Facebook. Ah. It was just pictures. Yeah? So I could have a sex tape out there. <laughs> you missed the trick. Aish. <laughs> would be so fun. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember this question. Ray J. Ray J. But Christ. honestly, it's not right. At the end no, of it's day, so cool, man. It's especially so cool. when people are hidden, it's like, okay, just try it by all means. At least there are some situations where people are but in a public space. Get security. Get some... You know, or and the confront fasc- them if you and have And the fascination to. that people had have. when they were recording that video, like, you, you, Waruta, you. you. That's what they were saying. Like, come Sis. on. And you look at yourself, you're going to get home, you're going to do the same thing. It's just exactly. that there was no camera. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we out of here, man. Don't forget, this coming Saturday, it is the official Valentine's party. A lot the of people, up. yeah, the a lot of people think it's up. just for singles. It's not. Ah, so and it's, only, it's not for smashing either. <laughs> no, the speed dating. There's going to be a section just for speed dating. But this is at earlier, at about no, 6 o'clock, throughout, right? Throughout. We, you can so let me break it down for you. Okay. We open at 5 p.m. Right. at Coffee in Brooklyn. I was there last week. Oh, beautiful venue, eh? Oh. I'm, I'm told, I'm told. Oh, oh you're going to love it. Oh, I used to go there. Oh, what, oh, yeah, I used to go to Yeah, you're going to love it. So on I the side it, will be the speed dating. That's for single people. That's going to happen between 6 and 7. All right, and then after that, it's a turn up, mm. a smash up. So whether you are single or not single, you can come to the party. Mm. It's open for everybody. everybody. Yeah, everybody. but I'm, I'm nervous because we've never done a party in Pretoria. Do you think people will come? Oh, you'd be surprised. Ah, if, I'm nervous. If, if they don't come, we stop doing parties. It's as simple as in that. Pretoria. In Pretoria. Right, Justin J in general. No, Joe the show us love. Yeah. We saw him Tony in the last time. Okay, fair but enough. What if the people? M. Tonjini, most of the respiratory people. But we'll see this Saturday. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Numbers never lie. Yes, yes. So, yeah, if you are in Pretoria or Centurion, the rich side, <laughs> like the ghost lady, <laughs> <laughs> pull through 15th of Feb, if you're coffee not in Brooklyn. Doors open at 5 p.m. Like I said, the speed date is going to start at 6. Tabang is going to be there. He's single. You can finally meet him if you want to meet him. Mm. Uh, Monday is going to be there. Penny's coming. Yeah. Hey, there's a lot of single people, eh? Some of my friends are single is it? recently. Mac- <laughs> McG's coming there. Yeah, but I'm coming with my woman. No, okay. no, no, no. I was, I was, I'm just saying you're coming. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was not speaking about singularity. When are you coming alone? Huh? Are you coming alone? No. Who are you coming with? Never. I'm coming with my boo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Baby. Yes. Mm. yes. And what you got planned for her for Valentine's? Rotobula di feste, di cutting. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and see the sunshine. Ah, people will record. You'll see it on social media. Podcast live. Yeah. <laughs> 2.0. Podcast after hours. <laughs> Emmanuel 2.0. Oh, whatever. You Lord. Please, please. I don't want to see that. He, oh, Jesus. Oh. He then, was a guy. And then you tag me and then Gakena Linda. One year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're out we of here, man. This has been podcast. See you chill. on Saturday. Coffee Brooklyn yes. is going to be a hookup. Thank you so much, guys. Boom. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.